a a dignity kid is a it's a it's a kid that be is like a small box that contains some uh, sanit sanitary equipment for, oh, for women, women. Okay. Yeah, for, for women stuff uh, that will be given to them because most of these women have been uh, abused uh, sure. uh, and so they will need this kind of stuff for their personal hygiene. Was that your idea or is that something? That you no, this is something that has been going on for so That's a idea. great idea. Yeah. In fact, um, there are so many communities across Africa now where you need to give that because there are students that will not come to school without well, yeah. uh, a specific period of the month because That's if they don't have it, they just will not come. Yeah, and that was even idea. after NGOs have been able to separate the washroom of boys from the girls. <coughs> oh, they didn't use to? That was a time when several oh. years ago. So that would prohibit girls from coming uh, to school too? Absolutely. Sure. Wow. Okay. Questions? And you said the progressive report, are you tracking people in the camp or are you tracking the amount of activities you're completing? What's in the progressive report? Progressive report will be attracting activities uh, as it has been planned, whether it's the same thing that is going on, what are your daily activities that has been doing. Okay. And the observations you're observing? Yes, the progressive report will include observations, which will also Thank include uh, uh, pictures from uh, focus groups. Oh, yes. focus groups. Yes. So it's okay. like we're getting the feedback, mm -hmm. and also uh, the people working on the project will also be giving a, a report on the activities as well. That's what we mean by the progressive report. Okay. I'll ask questions. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have a question. You mentioned uh, doing a baseline. I, I think <coughs> Nadi mentioned this as well uh, beforehand, um, but I heard two times uh, baseline or, or like a baseline study being done. Um, I'm not sure if that was just a mix up or you plan on doing it like pre implementation and also during the implementation. Uh, so I'm just wondering like at what point that would be. That was a mix up. We would okay. well, because that's, a, that, that's very good. It's one of the things that I noted. You're, you're doing your baseline before, before, before at, at the proposal, proposal stage. Yes. Yeah. Well, between you said it's a mix up. Can you please yes. explain that? So you answered yes, you are wrong. So <laughs> we will be doing it after the proposal but before we implement. That's fine. That's better. That's better. What you do at the proposal writing stage or before you start writing proposal is the needs assessment, which is kind of general. At the baseline survey, you are actually establishing the statistics. Okay? For example, you said that I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's clap for them. Okay. Okay. Since you have uh, your things there, go to your first slide. Let me start giving you. By the way, what I think I want to achieve is done. You have an idea of the entire cycle, okay, of a project from the planning stage. Of course, there are gaps. But I know this, if you have to write a proposal, you are not going to think of it here. You will consult literature, you, what is it that I'm supposed to write? So this is just to give you an idea, to be sure that as you leave this class, you know what you should know, all right? And I think I've been able to establish that, okay? You've done well, so I'm happy with it. Please, next slide. Can you read that first line for me? <clears throat> The Gahali refugee is a sub camp within the Dabab refugee camp. No, 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 no. The Gahali refugee is a refugee and not a camp. Yes. You I understand the mistake? Yes. Huh? I forgot camp. Yeah. Ah, so, I mean, yeah. you have to be careful. Yeah. Where is it? Kenya, where Garissa is where? Okay, Garissa County. 
Yeah. Where is Galisa counting? Yeah. Okay, you, you are said assuming. Ten, I, I said ten, my car is as well. Okay, um, please yeah. let me. Don't forget something that I told you. Reduce the the number of questions yeah. your donor or stakeholder will ask you as much as possible. Okay, that's why Kenya there. It's very, very important. Absolutely important. Something as simple or a mistake like refugee camp. Camp not being there. Sincerely, I'm sure of Germany. And I'm sure of USAID. I'm sure, I'm sure of DFID. They will note that. And all you have to do is just pick another two, three mistakes on the front page, on the, on the first page rather. The first main page, and they're taking something against you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it puts you off. Yeah. You are reading, and it's putting you off. It means that I'm reading, and I'm I'm thinking for you. I'm not supposed to be thinking for you. You are supposed to convince me, and suddenly I'm thinking for you. You are putting off your donor. Okay, I'm just using that tiny thing to point your attention to that. Okay, um, <coughs> two, three. Um, you said that you would like to reduce violence by 50%. Can you tell me how you're going to measure that? Yes, what we were trying to say was that uh, in our baseline survey, <coughs> We will do uh, a survey on the prevalence of violence in the camp. And so we will get a, a, an idea of uh, the prevalence and the frequency of uh, violence in the camp. And then after our, our project, the evaluation, we will still do another survey and then we will know whether there has been some changes. I know that's what you're going to do. And Shirad as well, which is quite um, I imagine the focus groups, mm -hmm. because one of the things. Is that the incidence of gender-based violence is very connected with, you know, with people, um, and so um, collecting focus groups, interviews from the beginning to the end throughout, um, to see how um, to understand the people, the incidences of violence that may be in their home as they go through the courses, is a lesson as it more um, So not only serve as well as focus groups. And like Can you tell me exactly what you are reducing by fifty percent? Mm -hmm. uh, by the way. That I'm passing this comment for this group it doesn't mean it's just for the group, it's for all of you. Because you listen. Okay? Alright. What are you reducing by 50%? You can also answer. Yeah. Quite into that stage, gender based violence. Yeah. How do you. What's your definition of gender based violence? Yeah, like you said. What's your indicator? One of the indicators that we're using, which I mentioned, I could have made it more clear, was the rates of domestic violence. Um, that is the actual it. number yeah. reduced, isn't it? State it that way. Yeah. As you are now, it's so ambiguous. Yeah. All right. And please let me let me teach you something. By the way, saying that you will reduce gender-based violence by fifty percent is a tall order, mm -hmm. usually in a refugee camp. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. If you say twenty percent, I'll say okay. Let's go for it. Let's see what will happen. As a donor, I'll tell you, you're not likely to be able to achieve it, but let's see. Because refugee camps, especially, uh, everybody is stressed, everybody is on edge, mm -hmm. and so on. So the rate will be a little bit higher. To control will be more difficult, and so on and so forth. But this is it. At your planning stage, you do your needs assessment. You gather a lot of information from literature, from those who have done it before, you have an idea. And therefore, you are actually stating that X number of women are abused per month, according to, you state your source, UNHCR, camp report, and so on and so forth. Um, a survey that was done three years ago. Okay? Based on that, you will now state that while we are yet to confirm this current situation, it is our plan to reduce by 
Because as at now, you don't even know what you want to reduce by 50%. Please, do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. huh? It's expression, but you have to, don't just jump at it. If not, it will make evaluation very difficult for you. And then at the end of the day, it will make it look as if your planning at one, at, did, was not, did not work, or you are not sure. This is very, very important. How you state your, please, whatever you're doing, look for your indicators very well. And that is what the lock frame is supposed to do for you. When you write, reduce, reduce gender-based violence by 40%. Remember the one that I did for you, means of verification. Gender-based violence reduced by 40%. That's our, that, then indicator, what's your indicator? The number of men abusing women reduces by half of the right of baseline. You, to be determined by baseline, isn't it? Mm -hmm. By the time you now know that, you, you'll be able to say, okay, so by gender-based violence, I'm, I actually mean men beating or harming women, and vice versa, by the way, and vice versa. And that will help you to think it through. That what I'm doing, am I sure I can deliver it? Okay? Any question or comment on that? Thank you, Jordan. You brought up the issue of baseline before writing your proposal. No. Please do the needs assessment. If the donor will give you the money for it, carry out the business after. If not, use the figures in, um, in your in your needs assessment. Um, you said something about, it, uh, unfortunately you didn't write it down. One of you was presenting and you said something about sustainability. What's your plan for sustainability of this? Yeah. I think he talked about uh, the fact that we're training of TOTs. Ah, that is it. That you will train people Right. Who will carry on the uh, it to be sincere with you? That will not help so much in order for you to come. There are two things that can help. When you are implementing your project, involve the camp authority. Okay? When you involve them, they will continue to monitor. Number two, please involve men. It's so, it, in fact, it's one of the most composite, composite things when you want, you want to stop men from beating their wife. Let's just put it so crudely. Then you are empowering the women, women, you want to improve their economy, you want to do this, and you are leaving us out. Ah, okay, go on. You get out and leave me with the women. That's what the men will say. You understand? So, when you say empowerment, do you mean in the actual school, the education center? All your workshops, yeah, all everything workshops. that you are doing, you must emphasize. And therefore, in your sustainability plan, you have to include it. Because you, do, you just mentioned TOT. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. TOT means that you training people who will continue to train others after you have left. Who will pay for the workshops? Are those, or that particular activity, is it sustainable on its own? I hope my I hope my line of thought makes sense to you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, group one and group three.